Africa's biggest economy on the verge of collapse. It sounds like seen out of I am legend but this is not fiction but the daily truth. With daily loads shedding, a word not known in the Western world, now happening at least once day has many economists on the edge of their seats. Can Africa survive an energy apocalypse? Load shedding as real meaning is that the fair state electricity provider in South Africa ESCOM are forced to shut down parts of the country between 2 to 8 hours on any given day to ensure a balancing act for other regions' energy needs. Think of mines without power, hospitals without air cones. This is the daily obstacles the South African economy faces every day. What are the implications of this massive setback to the 27th biggest economy in the world? 1. Massive outflow of foreign investment due to a loss in confidence from major foreign role players. 2. Consumer sentiment decreasing by the week. 3. A national resentment towards the government. South Africa has enjoyed a steady 5% growth of over the last 21 years of democracy, but with the latest wave of xenophobia violence this growth has fallen to less than 2%, as predicted by the World Bank. A sentiment of hopelessness is starting to show its face with high inflation, huge unemployment rates and a crime rate that not even Xi Miami will believe. But on the bright side, South Africa is blessed with two things. Huge national optimism for a better life even in this massive energy crisis. An abundant sun all year round which makes it one of the preferred destinations to invest in renewable alternative energy. This favorable environment has increased the calls for a bigger investment in alternative energy such as wind and solar energy. Source Power Planet, http colon slash slash www.powerplanet.co.za slash blog slash top dash ten dash gips dash do dash reduce dash your dash electricity dash bills slash tel plus twenty seven eighty seven two hundred and thirty one zero one two zero br at powerplanet.co.za by sharing this article you will individually help put pressure on our South African government to invest in alternative green energy make Africa an example for the world again.